up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mouth. So, it is hair color time, y'all. I am getting ready to color my hair, dye my hair, whatever you want to call it, um, with Clara Beautiful Collections Advanced Gray Solutions Semi-Permanent Hair Color, okay? Semi-Permanent Hair Color. It contains no ammonia, no peroxide, and it is for what I recommend for relaxed hair, okay? No permanent dyes, okay? So anyways, I got my hair towel dried. I just came from up on the, um, the shampoo bowl, a.k.a. kitchen sink. <laughs> Ooh. And this is what my hair looks like, like partially damp. And I'm getting ready to color it. So my main uh area that need to be colored is in the front so that's what i'm gonna start at but before i do all of that i am going to do a full turnaround for y'all so y'all can see what my hair is okay full turn around so you can see what my hat shit can y'all okay Let me just do this. How about that? How about that? Okay. So this is what my hair is looking like right now. Okay. So the first thing I do when I color my hair is I section it off. And for old sections, y'all already know we do four sections for almost everything. And my hair got some major color like here. Brown. When I went to Florida, child, uh, the sun turned my hair some more brown. It usually get brown, but Florida turned it like a lot more brown than normal because it was so hot. Ooh, it was so hot. So all I'm gonna do is part my hair in four sections. So I'm gonna start out with my most resistant area, which is right here. As y'all can see. I have God-given highlights, okay? <laughs> no, I have never bleached my hair. This happens when, um, like you color your gray, and your gray, and the color starts to fade, and it turns, it, well, I can't say the color starts to fade, but in Florida, trial, it was like 110 degrees, it felt like, um, the sun was on me, baby, so it got golden. My gray turned golden, and, and it had something to do with the, the hair color as well. So, I have Clara Beautiful Collections in Midnight Black 1A right here. And I am going to put that in my hair. Let me change my battery, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, I have these highlights in my hair that I don't want. Okay? I don't want them. I don't want them brown hair. So, I'm just going to start by... Putting it directly on there. this i used to um i used to just put the dye on and rub it in with my hand and i'd be all right but then i i did it one day with this and i realized hey this is this um colors it better this put the color in there this distributes the color more evenly okay i'm trying to use my my good my good words okay so y'all understand because y'all know we good country, country bama. Ew. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole outside of this here. I 
I made sure when I when I wash my hair out that I, I when I rinsed my shampoo out this after I shampooed it that I rinsed it out with hot water so that way my cuticles could be open to accept this color that I'm putting in there. Okay, all right. Most of my gray is in the roots, so that's what we gonna focus on. I'm gonna bring it to the end, but we gonna focus on them there. In the inside, cause it ain't got all the way down yet. Golly, man, I'm just getting color splashing color everywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna focus on putting it, applying it directly like to the scalp part, cause that's where it's mostly gray at anyway. I ain't got that much gray. My hair, growing up, my hair was naturally, like naturally. Jet black, jet black. I used to always get complimented on how black my hair was. People thought I used to dye it back then, but I did not. Like the color that you see on my hair is naturally jet black. You can still see some of my natural, my jet black. All this over here that's black, that's naturally jet black. But right here, child, it's the <laughs> natural jet black was like, mm mm, baby, it's time for us to leave. But I said, mm mm. I'm pulling all the way down to the ends, too. Yep. So I'm just going to get this and smooth it through. Smooth it through? What am I talking about? I'm going to get this and distribute it all the way through my hair. Oh, uh uh, uh uh, don't do that. I'm going to do both sides just like I would if I was applying the relaxer. Okay? Just make sure it's brushed in there with this little brush. Then I bring it down to the ends and smooth that through. the same and I don't want to hold y'all too long because y'all see what I did to this section it's gonna be the same thing to every section I make sure I got this little brush here and blending it in like it's supposed to be evenly distributed throughout the, all the strands of hair that is it for that section as you can see most of it is in like in here that's why i wanted it i don't really want to go too too hard on my ends because y'all them ends man them ends <laughs> them ends ain't nothing to play with so i ain't trying to play with them i'm telling you you can do a whole lot of you can do, make a whole lot of progress on your hair but them ends will be the thing that make or break you in the end in the end it's about your ends okay so i'm gonna do this what i just did to my hair oh look at all that Clean all of this up. Do this to all of the sections in my hair. Then I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So, this is what my hair looks like. Um, completely all the way colored. With the jet black. Um, Clara Beautiful Collections Advanced Gray Solutions. In the grayish silver bottle. Okay. And this is what it looks like. In the back. So, um, I'm going to blow dry for my next video, so y'all stay tuned for that. I might blow dry. I might air dry. I don't know. 
If I don't blow dry it, then I won't make a video. So, we're going to see. Alright, thank y'all so much for watching. And this is how I color my hair. That's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye!